Hello everyone. Welcome back to another quick look where we go over video games and I just take a little bit of a, uh, a peek at them and we just see what the uh, the openings are like for them. So we're doing Resi here and we'll do we'll do easy mode for a laugh. Hello to everyone that's setting up by the way. Hope the audio is not too bad. It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A Hello city everyone. Controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions. But there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance. My last escape. This is Chopper Delta, preparing to drop off at area E95070. So we're just waiting for all the intro here, and then we'll get on with stuff. Love the voice acting in, like, for a couple of the UCBS soldiers in that. Or US... I can't remember the, uh, the name of them. It's Umbrella Special uh, Branch that they have the Mercenaries group. Let's, uh, let's figure out the controls here because it'll be similar to Dino Crisis and uh, other resis. So what I've done is I've started this off on easy just so I can show you guys because... I've never really played Resi 3. I keep saying like I'll go ahead and play it, but because of the current condition, this is why I'm doing a quick look at it instead of a, uh, a full playthrough similar to Dino Crisis. Did they finally give PS4 support or is this PS3 only? Says the Onzaku. No, I'm playing this on the original console. As in like the original PlayStation. But yeah, for those who have seen uh, Jen play Resi 3 Remake, this is all what was missed out of it. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive. Okay, we've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there. How dare you tell me to go back outside? I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't going to be any rescue. We have to get out of here. No! I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters! Now leave me alone!
Okay, so here we are. We start on Resi 3 now. This is after we do that little run. Like I was saying before, this is not the remake, obviously. This is the original version, which a lot of fans seem to prefer, mainly because it's not the remake. And I don't mean that by, you know, like the classic gameplay and stuff like that. It's more how much was, was actually cut out of the game, seemingly, compared to the, uh, the remake. We have a lot of walking around and exploring Raccoon City, which I think fans actually like more on this version because you get a smaller area to uh i'm just trying to see whether the, we got the quick turn i think we have the quick turn i just can't remember how to do it at the moment because i thought the controls would be the same as dino crisis but i i'm having trouble oh there we go so it's square so yeah the the difference with this is that you spend about 15 minutes if you're just walking around in the uh in the demo area of resi 3 the remake and the demo area really encompasses a smallish area of uh, downtown Raccoon City. Or uptown, sorry. Whereas this version... I'm pressing X here and it's not working on the stairs for some reason. Just start walking around and see if I can uh, go somewhere else. That's to Dario over here. But yeah, the... Um, there we go. Wasn't close enough. So, the... Um, the remake really only has you exploring for like 15 minutes but i feel like fans of the original preferred more exploring and just seeing more of raccoon city even if it was pretty empty that's what i'm getting from all of this anyway because there are a lot of areas in classic that allow your brain to kind of wander a little bit and imagine what was happening in raccoon city as it falls the whole idea is that jill, uh, jill is still trying to escape but um the difference is the Nemesis's encounters are a little bit more stressful and that you have a lot larger area to deal with, lots more zombies that are, they're still aggressive but there's more of them on screen and uh, as a result, I don't know, I feel like you get a little bit more immersion just by walking around and your imagination kind of filling in the gaps of what's happened to people and actually getting to explore more rather than being sort of put in a, a very small area and not really allowed to go anywhere. I just feel like that's a lot better. And this is, like I said, this is about my first time playing it. I played the original demo on the, uh, the PC back when it first came out. Apart from that, this is just my first romp through this, really. And uh, this was primarily done because a lot of people were kind of surprised I hadn't played this before when I mentioned it on the remake stream. And I was kind of just parroting what everybody else had said about the game in, in like the first opening hours for the remake. You know, that it was short and that it had things cut. But to be honest, like before we did the remake... I actually looked up videos of people playing this and it was actually surprising to me to see how much was cut because I watched a, uh, a let's play that somebody did and it was surprising to see all this cut like all the back streets all the different uh, different encounters that you could have like really early on whereas in the uh, in the remake this is just a very short section whereas in this version it's made into this long section that if you're on it for like your first time and you're just walking around and exploring you can take up to an hour to walk around just the uptown area and uh, the fact that some encounters and item placements are random as well means that it's never the same run through so it was it was pretty interesting to for, for me to at least put my money where my mouth was and do my research and then go back when Jen played remake and just look and, and see the comparison and then play this myself and actually see what's been missing from it and you know ex experience it and what the hell my disc has suddenly stopped here oh there we go yeah but it's it's crazy anyway let's let's have a look at what chat's saying here um preferred it for sure operation raccoon city had more exploration the I don't know whether it's a good thing to admit on stream, but I honestly like Operation Raccoon City. Like, I genuinely like it. Um, the the only thing that I think needed to be changed about it was the damage values for your weapons that they didn't feel like toy machine guns and stuff. Apart from that, I actually really enjoyed that game. But again, I, I know some people aren't going to like hearing that from me. <laughs> you know, But just, just going around and playing this now and seeing all the areas that you can kind of go and explore and... 
and really sort of get an idea of how large Raccoon City is for yourself rather than being corralled into that small area from Remake. It's, it's really cool because I, I get to go to all these back alleys and I feel that sometimes the lack of stuff and just some visuals and some audio cues or just some audio... Did I just go back to where I was before? No. Um, just some audio and the lack of stuff actually makes for an interesting and immersive experience as well because you kind of... Like I said before, you kind of make stuff up in your head. And just exploring is pretty fun as well. So... It's it's pretty crazy. Like, I'm not going to say I have a bias for either one. But, uh... Th this is definitely one of those experiences where I looked at this... Before playing the remake. And then now, like I said, I'm playing it just for a, a quick look at it again to show you guys the difference. And really back up what I was saying in the remake videos because it's so shocking when you see how much they missed out. Nemesis jump scare was cut, almost made me refund it, says Zionzaku. Um, yeah, the. Um, I'm just catching up here. They added. Is that easy mode? Yeah, this is easy mode at the moment. Uh, the assault rifle was put in for easy mode, and the same was done with the remake. But yeah, this is this is running off my original PS1, and it's easy mode just to, uh, just to you know relax a little bit, so I'm not getting wrecked. Normally I wouldn't play easy mode, but it's just because I don't want to be stressing out and uh, wrecking my hands even more. You know, normally you wouldn't be going around and wasting all this ammo; you'd be trying to conserve it. But I think we just saw Brad run past there. I think this is this is in the bar now. Come on, Jill. I really like Jill's model in this one. Yeah, here we go, it's Brad. Get away. So we can either help him there or just kind of leave him and he'll still kill that zombie anyway, so we'll just Go ahead. Brad, hang in there. Why isn't someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. He's after Stars members. There's no escape. See, I really love this setup because if you look at the time now, this kind of gives you an idea. We've done like 13 minutes on stream at the moment. Currently, if I was playing the remake, because you you guys have probably seen me play the demo over and over and over, just doing like different skins and stuff for Jill, just to see what they look like in the demo for free, without having to buy the actual game again on PC, I would have completed the demo version of Uptown six times by now, in the same time that it's taken me to find Brad, whereas in the actual remake you find Brad in like the first, I'm going to say, five minutes, and then that's it, you're into the, uh, the small corral sort of uptown area. Whereas this, like I said, it, it really sort of lets the atmosphere soak in and kind of builds Nemesis up. It's the same critique I had of the Final Fantasy VII Remake. I know the Final Fantasy VII Remake has its own different way of telling the story because there's new time travel involved and stuff. But um, for those who saw my critique of that, it's basically in the original Final Fantasy VII uh, game, Sephiroth was built up to and it took you ages to find him and then in the remake because of the time travel and stuff they change it so he appears almost within like the first 10 minutes and I feel like with Nemesis and with Sephiroth on the classic versions at least leading up to them the build up to them is a lot more imposing because it builds them up as these like really threatening boss characters that are really important to you and you really don't want to mess with them rather than uh, sort of something that is always there and always shown, you know, and ever present. It really kind of ruins the uh, the mystique and the, I'd say the, 
the pressure that you get from that sort of boss character that's always haunting you or you know is like a big bad um it kind of ruins that when you you have you see the boss in like the first two seconds or whatever and then he's just constantly there but yeah i definitely prefer nemesis and how he's introduced in this game to the remake because in the remake he, he just kind of shows up out of uh, nowhere and just starts uh, running around whereas in this one it's implied that he's already hunting you anyway from the beginning with brad as well and that brad's kind of fleeing already i'm just gonna see where the uh the town map is oh press select there i'm trying to remember the controls here Okay, so I need to go through the door behind me. I love the way in the background here we can hear all these like zombies moaning from all these random alleyways. And because it's all interconnected, it's, it's crazy. Kind of reminds me if you ever go out to like a big city and you find that having gone there quite a few times that you start learning multiple shortcuts to get around places and you end up going through like back alleys and other sketchy places kind of reminds me of that a little bit i'm just gonna gun down all these zombies here <laughs> like the fact that this game was a lot more action-packed than the uh, the previous ones but it still puts you on your toes, and you'll see that when I, I come to fight Nemesis, because Nemesis has a very primitive AI, but... God, the way that it's scripted and everything is terrifying. <laughs> like, he's still as terrifying as he is in the remake, but in the remake he's easily beaten, whereas in this one he's, he's not. He's way more imposing. In the remake, you can beat him easily with just one grenade. Whereas, uh, in this one, he's, uh, he's a little bit more imposing and threatening. I think the shotgun's in here as well, I'm trying to remember. I'll look at chat as well while we're here. Have you ever seen the classic Nemesis mod for the remake? Yes. Let's see. Uh, Brad dies via bite, but Jill gets bitten, nothing happens. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we've, we've gone down here and found the shotgun off this guy. I think, I can't remember when you get it in the remake as Jill. It was just, I like comparing stuff and not really sort of just turning around and being like, oh yeah, this is totally this, you know, it's totally crap because of this and not really backing it up. So, like I said before, this is to show you guys if you saw the remake and didn't actually get a chance to play Classic or haven't seen Classic before, just to compare it, especially because the demo for Remake more or less covers 99% of, uh, of Uptown. The only thing it doesn't cover is uh, the Drain Demos section where um, in the remake Jill gets impregnated and then has to use the uh, the healing items to solve her poisoning. Whereas in this they kind of just crawl around and replace liquors. Yeah, I've seen the classic Nemesis remake, it's awesome. Remember everyone pressed the button the like button for Dave, or I'll be there to press it for you, says King. Thanks, King. I was just playing this. I think it's damn good, says Alex. It's it's so fun. I, I enjoy the classic version. Like, the remake, I can see why they streamlined it. They don't want people... I just pressed select again. God damn it. This is because of Dino Crisis, because the controls are slightly different. I think the remake has the, the neat, streamlined uh, approach to gameplay that Resi 2 had. But I feel like the remake lacks the expansive areas that this has that really kind of drill in how alone and isolated you are. And I feel like if Remake's Nemesis was how it was made out to be originally in original reports, then it would be a lot better. And by that, I mean, like, basically, they said he was like Mr. X, but he would be able to stalk you almost anywhere and that he still had his, his crazy powers and stuff, you know, like the ability to jump and stuff like that. I feel like if they'd have made Nemesis a constant threat like he is in certain parts of the Uptown area in the remake, rather than just isolating him to certain areas, I feel like that would have been a lot better. Because I actually was expecting a, uh, a game where Mr. X was just in it most of the time. All these zombies here at the uh, the wall, kind of like the uh, the remake version, but I think they break out in a moment. It's either that or it's when I burn this. Because the reason why we got the uh, oop, the reason why we got the lighter was to burn that. 
What we need to do is wait here for a moment and then we're going to shoot that barrel. Just like the remake. Come on, come on, just a little bit more. Just try and stun lock these cops. They look like cops anyway. There we go. I love the way that we get stuff like that in, in uh, this version that we can use. There's also like lights and things that you can drop on enemies. I need to select that, the menu item for that. Let's see what Dragox saying. Beware the quakening. I saw a duck mod. <laughs> oh no, the quackening, sorry. Heck, even the, the map for RE3 is significantly bigger than the remake. Oh yeah, definitely. I feel like, you know the, the whole meme thing about games having a soul versus not having a soul? Or I think it's art, no, art styles having a soul. Oh jeez. Dog. Oh, and another dog. Oh, can I, can I just come through here? Is that locked? Okay. I feel like this is... This versus its remake is the, the kind of representation that we have of that meme where it, it's like stuff that has a soul versus stuff that doesn't have a soul. Because I feel like the RE3 remake was done as a really quick turnover cash grab because they already have the assets. Whereas I would have I would have preferred it if they'd have held it back another year, you know. I feel like Capcom have made some really bad, bad decisions in the past regarding the games. And they've pushed out a lot of stuff really fast and they need to slow down and take their time. I understand they're a company, you know, they need to make money. But at the same time, it's like they don't want to be doing a Disney and putting out really mediocre things every, like, year or so and really saturating the market. It's kind of why I'm uh, I'm afraid of the, uh, the Resi 4 remake. Good job. So here we go. Here's where we first get introduced to Nemesis. We originally thought that Brad was was cool in the remake, you know, because he's uh, he's the the one that stays back, and instead we're gonna we're gonna enter the police station. You can actually fight him there and get a special item, and I think Brad's keycard, but we're, we're gonna avoid him just for the sake of it, because, you know, he's nemesis, he's supposed to be imposing. So, from what I can tell, most of the time we're in here, nemesis makes noises as he's going around at this point. He's been hunting us, and he's been hunting Brad more, whereas in the remake, he haunts you from, like, the first opening sequence. He's already in Jill's apartment, you know, kind of it kind of explains why um, why Jill's apartment explodes at the beginning, but let's just check this and get this out of the way. Like in the remake, it explains why Jill's apartment explodes and gets set on fire and why Jill flings herself out of it, whereas in this version, it doesn't really explain it too much and Jill just kind of gets flung out into the street. I, uh, I feel like the remake definitely explains it a little bit better the problem with that is though is that like i said before when you want a bad guy to feel threatening a bit like the whole analogy that i've seen used with uh, the original alien film versus james cameron's aliens you see more of the alien in aliens and it becomes less scary because you see more of it whereas in the original film because it's mainly disguised by the the darkness of the ship uh, what you actually have is your your imagination being stronger and really making up for the uh, the lack of details and really putting stuff that is way more frightening into your head because your imagination ultimately is a lot scarier, you know. So and I've I've been taking all this into account when doing my own research and stuff for like horror games and things. It's just with this nemesis kind of he he's still imposing in this area even though he's not following us around like you'd expect him to or like with Mr. X. 
he makes sounds, you can hear him banging on doors and things, but he will get in here later on and that's where the, uh, the freaky part is because he's, uh, he's a lot more imposing than on uh, the remake. Like I was saying, the remake, you can just grenade him and he's down, whereas the, um, the classic version, oh, almost messed up there. With the classic version, he still sprints like crazy, but his, when I was saying his AI is pretty primitive before, what I meant was that his, his AI is deliberately programmed to immediately find where the player's location is and then just dart straight for you. There's no sort of searching around or anything. He will always immediately know where you are, so there's no real way of avoiding him, which makes it even more scary. Because uh, the moment you come into a scripted sequence where he is, that's it. He, he's just gunning for you immediately, so there's no real way to uh, to get out of it. If I remember rightly, the locker thing around here was like 4103 or something. There we go, we can hear him in the background making noises. 4103. I know it's. I know it's it's those combination of numbers, but I just need to find the uh, the note with them on. But yeah, this is uh, us returning to the RPD as Jill instead of Carlos, like in the in the remake. Carlos's role in the remake is more to uh, explore and give you a reason to play as him, whereas and to give him a little bit more of a role rather than a side character, whereas in this one Jill goes back and it's a little bit more meaningful to Jill because she gets to explore it after Resi 1 and uh, and then the the current outbreak, which is... Well, this one takes place, I think. Jill is walking around Raccoon City just before Leon and Claire enter, if I remember rightly. So yeah, it's... Uh, Pretty nuts time-wise, but essentially Jill, Claire, Honk, and Leon all escape at the same time. I'm trying to remember where I'm going here. The thing is, most of this looks incredibly familiar because of the uh, the remake, well RE2 remakes police station. It's it's pretty accurate in terms of the uh, the look and the layout of everything. So I, I really do like that. You gotta remember, I've played the remakes first, but I don't have a bias for them. The, the gameplay is good, yeah, but apart from that, there's not one that I have any preference over. I've got no ammo for that, but I can find some later on, so I'm gonna equip that. If I can find a, an item box, I'll re-chat in a moment, by the way, because I realise with me talking and riffing over this, people are gonna be chatting to me at the same time. In this version, he can't be stopped. Yeah, in this version, Nemesis is pretty much an unstoppable killing machine. Sorry if I've not been keeping up with chat here. I've been busy focusing on where I'm going and trying to uh, figure out everything. There we go, we've got the stars card now. So we can go back to the uh, the main office. So for those who recognize this area, or maybe don't, this is the office that we run into as Leon on the remake. And one of the sides has those, those pallets uh, I think it's this side has pallets stacked up over it so you can jump over the wall and get into the uh, the hallway that has the the vending machine in it I'm trying to remember what's in here we can hear Nemesis just banging in the background It's to be honest I find that way more freaky because he's not chasing us but you just your brain fills in the blanks you're thinking oh god he's, he's the he's banging on the walls can he get in I'm not quite sure you know the zombies still cause a, a constant threat in here. I'm trying to figure out if I've missed anything here. While I'm in here, I'll uh, I'll catch up with chat. Let's have a look here. <laughs> Brad Chicken Vickers. Yeah, Alex says, the best part about the remake was the police station. The rest of it just felt tacky and thrown together. I definitely liked the police station area. This is more scary Nemesis, says John. Yeah, it is. Nemesis is way more scary than this. Um, not to be a guy, but in the original, you can actually kill him every time. No, you, you can. King's right, you can stop him, like, in the remake. You can't kill him properly, like, flat out, and he's not as easy to down in the in, as in the remake. 
but in this one, when you down him, he still gives you the items. It's just that in this one, you can get the, the STAI Eagle, I think it's called, which is like a Magnum or an improved Magnum. And I think you can get something else. I can't remember what the, the other item is. Basically, oh, it's a health item, if I remember rightly, that allows you to carry more, um, more health stuff. Ooh. Okay, so there's red herbs there, but that's all blocked in. So we can't go that way, so let's go this way. I'm trying to remember where I'm going here. Like I said, I've only really encountered Nemesis once before. I'm just quickly testing this out. So doing a, a quick run through, through for you guys and doing a comparison for those who are unfamiliar. It's, uh, it's been a while, so I'm kind of just like, where am I going again? I think it's this way to go back to the main hall and then I have to go upstairs. Hey, Nugs. But yeah, um, like I was saying, with with Remake Nemesis, I've, I've said this twice now, but with Remake Nemesis, you can down him pretty easy with just a single grenade, and then away you go. Whereas on this, he uh, he's more like Mr. X in the remake in that he constantly stalks you. He's pretty hard to take down, and uh, yeah, he's a lot more intimidating, which I wish... Dude, every time, every time I hear the, uh, the door, or whatever it is, um, you know, bang, that's when I get freaked out on this. There's Marvin from, um, Resi 2 Remake, instead of being in the main hall, he's died in the, uh, the office. And he's actually holding, what's he got here? Marvin's report. This is basically just what happened in, uh, what ended up throwing the RPD into uh, chaos, if I remember rightly. I'm taking Marvin's report. This is also inside there is one of the rooms where you can kind of cheese Nemesis's AI. There's the spelling mistake for Leon there in the uh, the desk because. It's like, you might not be able to see it because I'm running it on the original console, so it's pretty low res, but the blue sign on the desk there is, uh, is the same sign that they have in RE2 Remake, but they have it hanging off the ceiling instead, and it says, Welcome Leon, but there's two L's in Welcome. Also, if I remember, Jesus Christ, Nemesis banging on the door is, uh, is pretty messed up, you know, because your brain makes you, uh, freak out a little bit more because you're just like is he going to come in is he going to be here you never quite know whether he is able to come into certain areas or not unless you've, you've played it multiple times and you know how he's scripted yeah it's uh it's messed up walking around those halls i think the music helps as well lay the atmosphere but you're kind of walking around you've not really got too much uh protection and nemesis is banging at the door and wanting to kill you it's just like oh boy please no the RPD is slightly different in this one as well, in the, the uh, I think it's the art museum or history museum that it's built, built on has a little bit different layout. You got like some ladders in the background there, that's a really weird choice, but... I, I definitely think that the, uh, the remake's RPD is a little bit better in terms of layout and stuff. It's just a little bit more realistic. We can also see a zombie's face in the bottom left corner here if you go to, uh, if you're looking at this and you, you see the, the test icon in the bottom corner, it's just the, the texture for one of the zombies' faces. Tempting fate with your hands today, says Nugs. No, no, no. Basically, I'm, I'm not tempting fate as much as... Uh... Oh, that's interesting. 0513. 0413? I wonder whether that's random each time. But yeah, uh, this is more of a test to see how my hands do as well. For about... Normally it's about 40 minutes that I do these quick looks at games. Normally it's also when I'm feeling a little bit confident or my hands are feeling better. So this is another another test. Dave, have you heard of Mobile Suit Gundam Online? Says John. Yes, I have. It's the large-scale multiplayer online game. 
I thought people were telling me I needed to, a VPN to play that ages ago because they play on uh, 4chan. They have like a uh, a dedicated. I think it's either a dedicated server or they have a dedicated area just for that on 4chan. They were posting it up ages ago. In fact, they've been posting it up for years. I think I knew about it. I'm gonna say maybe a year or two ago. Could be completely wrong with that, but it definitely sounds like the uh, the mass multiplayer online one with larger scale battles and you can get different mobile suits. Zero... I think it was 513? There we go. And this was for upstairs, I think? I think that's for the... Star's office? Oh. That definitely sounded like Nemesis came in then. I, uh, kind of want out at the moment. Because Nemesis can come into anywhere, really. I keep pressing the wrong buttons, man. Isn't MSGO on phone? No, no, no. They took off the VPN. But yeah, because I, because uh, I look around the internet on various other websites like 4chan and stuff. I've known about MSGO for a while, but whenever I've uh, looked at it in the past, they've mentioned about VPN and stuff. So that's one of the reasons why I've never really covered it myself. I swear Nemesis was meant to come in there, but it might be when we come down the stairs. Interesting thing about this is when you clear an area out, it might just be on easy, but when you clear an area out, you actually don't have any zombies. I need to go down because I just realized I think the, the photo rooms down here, the, the save room where I can use to look in boxes and get extra ammo. Jesus Christ. Just... Oh, that one sound effect. Oof, there we go, headshot. I like dropping headshots on this. The, um, the whole deal with Nemesis just banging there, you don't even have to see him, it's just, his, his presence is always there and you can feel it just by the way that they've, they've done this, which is really well done. It's simple, but it's effective, and I feel like sometimes that's what games, like AAA games, are missing out on, is the, the simple element that made things fun and still enjoyable without having to spend millions upon millions making it a game, you know, or making it look as if it's a movie or something. For me, it's much more about just enjoying the game and the gameplay, but that's just me. Maybe it's just because I'm old. <laughs> you got infinite ink ribbons here and a magnum? Jeez. Okay, let's, let's go back in there. I pressed the wrong button again. It's funny how simple some of this interact well some of the interactables are on this, but it's at the same time it's really neat. I, we've already got a shotgun in here, it just gives us everything off the bat. What the hell? Assault rifle bullets, we'll take those. Take those and I'll take Should I take the Magnum? No, we'll Can I take can I combine those shotgun bullets? Or shotgun shells, sorry. Shotgun bullets, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> right, and then we combine the assault rifle to get 100% ammo, and then we've got two slots. We're not going to save this like we did with Dino Crisis, um, primarily just because of this being a quick look. At some point, I've promised people in the past that I want to actually do a, uh, a full playthrough of this in Dino Crisis 2. But like I said, because of the, uh, the situation at the moment, I'm slowly recovering. So this is as much as I'm going to be doing, you know, it's like just under an hour's worth of gameplay just to really show you guys what's going on. Like, we've gone into the RPD here and we're like close to, like, a couple of seconds off 40 minutes. In the remakes uptown area, I would have completed this thing like 20 times over. Again, it just shows you how expansive it is and how the, uh... The game kind of makes you go wandering around for items and really makes you explore the area. Like I said before, I don't immediately know whether exploration is 
you know, beneficial to the game. I feel like the reason why they streamlined it a little bit in the remake is because they didn't want people wandering around for half an hour like this. But at the same time, at the same time, I do feel like the exploration adds a little bit more to the atmosphere, so it's, it's really weird. It's like in some parts I can understand why they did it, but in other parts it's like, well, I actually prefer it. Even if there's nothing in a room, if there's just like a tiny thing that tells a little bit of a story about what went on in that room. You know, if it's blocked off for a reason like this one here that seemingly goes nowhere on the map. I think it was this one. Yeah. You know, as long as they've got an interesting story for these rooms and why they're either looting or whether they've got nothing in or whether somebody's dead in it as long as there's something there to to kind of make my brain imagine what's going on i don't mind you know i don't know if anybody else is like that in terms of exploration and stuff but i feel like it's the same reason why i like uh games like bendy and the ink machine for how big the the area is that you can explore in that in some of the chapters it's really cool and i find myself getting immersed inside the uh the entire area and then just ended up listening to all the ink and the, the floorboards and everything. It, it really lends itself to the uh, the game and really gets you immersed, which I actually really like. Right, we're in the star's office now. This is the one that everybody might remember from RE2's remake. The only thing is, this is slightly different and I do like it. Would you like to take the lockpick? So Jill gets a lockpick here. These banging things, man. So those Chris's, I think that's Chris's jacket? It's either Chris's or Claire's. I can't remember. Those Jill's beret from Resi 1 and then in the Resi 3 remake and I think this one that, I'm not too sure about this one, but in the Resi 3 remake that's a picture of Jill's dog, which is a golden retriever. And then, let's see, I don't know whose the guitar is, I can't remember. But yeah, the office is slightly smaller, I think, but the way that it's laid out is totally weird. One of these is Brad's desk, the, the back here is like a radio thing, which we don't have in the RE2 remake, from what I remember. And then this is meant to be an office area that's partitioned by a wall and then the armory in the background, in the remake. Whereas in this one, this is just Wesker's desk. And of course, at this point, Wesker isn't around. He's busy trying to uh, regenerate from his fight with the Tyrant in RE1. It just says it's the desk of Wesker, Captain of Stars. Is there somebody who's left a, a set of weapon parts here? One of these desks will be Barry's as well. Will you take the handgun bullets? No, because I'm not using the handgun. So one of these desks will be Barry's, one of them will be Chris's. I'm actually surprised that the uh, they can fit all stars in this one office, because you have Bravo team and uh, an Alpha as well. They all share one office. Weird. I think that triggers something when I, uh, when I go for the door here. Is that the Magnum? You take the magnum? No, because we've already got one in the thing. So there we go. No, cut anyone. Our platoon is cut off. No survivors found. This is Carlo. Send in support unit immediately. So this is when we first hear about Carlos, and then this is where we're going to meet Nemesis in a moment. Dragox says, the idea behind that is you'd think that someone or person was probably bit in the other room and barricaded it, and then w one turned into a zombie and bit them, which adds more environmental story compared to it's just locked. They also have shifts, and Zion Zaku says, I think it's Barry's guitar. Okay, that makes sense. They have shifts, so you won't need a large office if they both share desks. So 
So yeah, this this same version was released on what the PC, the Dreamcast, the GameCube, and then I'm not quite sure where else it's been released. But they, they don't really have a graphics upgrade until the remake. And then you've also got the unlockable costumes that you can get for Jill later on, of which one of them is a police officer outfit in a miniskirt, and the other one is uh, Regina's dinosaur hunter spec ops costume from Dino Cry uh, yeah from Dino Crisis because it was released at roughly the same time and she shows a very similar model to Jill so um so yeah it's pretty crazy and those are amongst I think nine outfits that you can get for Jill in this and you can get four for Regina in the uh Dino Crisis one game I just realized that's the area that you go through to the li I think it's the library with Resi 2 Remake. But yeah, we're gonna see Nemesis now. I'm gonna go back downstairs and he's just gonna pounce out of a window at me with an RPG from the very beginning. <laughs> I think it's, an, it's either an RPG or a, 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 an anti-air missile. Can't remember what the puzzle is for that at the moment, but we'll, uh... We're getting close to where normally... Jesus Christ. You can hear the sound of glass shattering though, so that kind of sets it up. I was gonna say, we're getting close to the, uh... The time limit of, uh... What I normally do for these... Quick looks. It's glass shattering and the controller vibrated as well, so we kind of know something's going on. Here's where Nemesis is gonna come in. So you all get to see uh, classic Nemesis now. Here he comes. Good to about here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Jesus. At <laughs> that point where all you hear is stars and then a missile comes flying at your face. I didn't realize I wasn't running as well. I think I have to go this way. I can't actually remember where I go now. I think it's out on the street. Nice boob tube, says John. I, I love classic RE3 Jill. Like the costume for her is so good. Ah, see what I mean about Nemesis running? Jesus! Run. Run, Jill. He, he sprints so fast. It's stupid. It's like I swear he's twice as fast as the player. I don't know whether he can get in here or not, but apparently if he if he can, he's going to come through that door. But I don't think it will do it when I'm facing this, purely because of how the game's coded. Like, if I turn away, he might spawn out here. Not quite sure, because normally if it's a PlayStation 1 game, it doesn't show him coming through a door until you're off screen, because then it can fake it. No, no, no. Oh, I've already done that. Yeah, so I think I have to go out now. Jesus Christ, says John. Yeah, he's... Uh, he's pretty crazy. I think we can get outside now, if I remember rightly, because... There's no need to stay here, but yeah. Nemesis is encounters in this. They're scripted, but they're... They're pretty crazy. I don't even know whether he can come outside here, where Brad was dead before. I'm assuming he can... That was only a small encounter with Nemesis. We could have downed him in there, or tried to. In fact, let's... Because this is a quick... Because this is a quick show, I can either run to the Drain Demos bit, or I can try finding Nemesis. I wonder whether he's still in there. Might as well find him and have a, uh, a bit of a mess around with him. Because we're right at the end of the time limit for the, uh, the quick preview of this. But yeah, unlike in the uh, the remake where Nemesis is in there within the first five five seconds, I think, where he he storms into Jill's apartment, this builds him up as this looming threat, and then all of a sudden he bursts through the window and bolts straight for you. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to find him in here or not. I hope I don't, but. The thing with this is whenever you change camera, I think, depending on which area you're in, or whether you've already killed him or whatever, 
He has a chance of being there. Oh, jeez! <laughs> oh, no good. Oh, can we can we try and... How fast is it? Oh, jeez! I, I, I pressed fire there and it didn't work. Is this a demo? This is the actual game. I'm just only playing it a little bit because of my current condition. Have we... Since when did I need to reload after every shot? Hang on. That pimp slime. <laughs> yeah, because of my current condition, I'm kind of limiting myself to uh, how long I play. Oh, jeez! Did I just did I just quick turn and, uh, and get him there? Oh, jeez. I know you can... Uh... Oh, no. He's just pimp slapping me with the back of an RPG there. It's totally fine, you know. <laughs> it's no big deal. Let's, uh... He's taken two shotgun shells to the face already. I know we can dodge him if we press, I think it's R1 or fire at the, the last minute. Like that. Oh, crap. Nope, no, no, no. Can we just... Good job, he... he oh, I was going to say, he can't get us there, and then that happens. Jeez. Can we, can we just try here? How many rounds did... Oh, my God. Oh, and now he's... Uh, now he's used up his ammo. Oh my god, we got him. He took so many rounds. Wait a minute, did we get him up? I don't think we got- Oh god, we didn't get him. Ah, no, no, no. Am I out of ammo here? I can't tell- oh, No, 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 no. Chill! Did he just throw me- Throw me in the corner? I'm not out of ammo, so what happened? He will go down twice. Oh crap. That moment where you're at, you're basically backing up and presenting yourself to him. <laughs> this is totally fine, you know. It's no big deal. Can I, get, can I get used to the dodge mechanic? No, clearly not. I'm getting absolutely wrecked here, just trying to figure out how much it takes to take him down. Oh, jeez. We get him? I'm just, I'm just gonna keep firing. Okay, breathe. We got no health. Okay, so I feel like I'm learning the dodge mechanic for this. It's like you fire at the last minute when he comes to swing for you because he swings are timed and are very, uh, I wouldn't say they're easy to uh, to predict, but the way that he swings and kind of get the timing once you've done it a couple of times and then just dodge him. But yeah, that's, that's how much it takes to down Nemesis in Classic compared to the, the remake. In the remake, you just chuck a grenade and away you go. He's he's no big deal. On this one, however, he's taken... Even on easy, he's taken like... I'm going to say 70 to 80% of an assault rifle to down him. And he took two... Sh was it two or three shotgun shells? We got him and only took three first aids. I know, right? That, that's because I'm crap at um, dodging on this, like I said, because it would be my first time on it. It's just like, I'm crap at dodging. And then I started learning the dodge mechanic as I'm fighting him. I was like, oh, okay, this is going good. And I've gone through all my health by that time. At least I know in future when I do a full playthrough of this that I can down him. It's just going to have to be... Uh, I just realized there was loads of health there. It's going to be a little bit more awkward. Blood pools under someone when the dead, says Benito. 
At least now I know for when I, I beat him properly. But yeah, on normally or easy, he doesn't drop anything. On uh, hard, that's when he drops the parts for the STI Eagle. I think we can go this way now. Which leads us to the... What's going to be the end of the... Uh, the quick preview. Well, the, the quick play of this. The quick look. I'm just going to see what was through here. Because I think it's the drain demo spit. Why is the... Barrel there? Oh, I think... I think Nemesis might appear in this bit as well. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's... That looks e either like a liquor or a drain demos. Halfway through the game, he becomes type 2. Yeah, that's the one where he has the... Uh, the coat off a little bit more and has all of his tentacles protruding from him. Right, so I need to find something to get rid of those bolts. I'm just going to be looking around anyway before I finish this off, so... Everyone's not going to see a full playthrough of this for a while, but... <coughs> At least we... Excuse me. At least we had fun in there. Uh, and did a neat comparison. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take this one little herb and then just to show off where we, we get up to here. And then I'll leave it there. Oh. Sorry for not being on, so it's gonna make a world breaker. It's, uh, it's cool, dude. I've. Hell, Siri in the background. She should probably be there going. Yeah, she's, she's recognizing what I'm saying here. Yeah, I've not been on in a while myself, purely because of my condition at the moment. I'm suffering from repetitive strain injury, so I'm kind of trying to minimize how I play games. Type 3 is I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. <laughs> I swear in the uh, in the remake as well, Jill might as well have uh, might as well have PTSD for tentacle hentai. Because it's it's basically full of in the remake anyway, it's full of war and other stuff and Tentacles. Is that some ammo on the, uh, the desk there? I'm trying to get up to the bit with the drain demos here so we can compare to the, uh, the original for people. I mean, yeah, so we can compare against the remake for people who don't know about the... Uh, the amount of time it takes to get to this bit. So we're almost there, apart from all these... Ah, no, no, I'm gonna get killed by dogs. I'm, all I'm trying to do is run. Oh, wow. Yeah, Jill's gonna get killed by dogs here. Oh, well. The, the, the one thing that I... Uh, I wish had not happened there. Because we were so close. Bleh. Jill's dead. But yeah, that place that I was next to was the bit where you find the uh, the Drain Demos, the weird insect things that in the remake the uh, in, in the remake the impregnate, impregnate Jill with parasites, whereas in this one they just replaced Lickers. So yeah, it's uh, it's pretty crazy. I like the way in the background here we've got what looks like the T-Virus cells as well for the uh, the menu. But yeah, that's my quick, uh, not exactly quick, but hour-long look at Resi 3 Classic. That gives you an idea compared to the, the remake of just how much was missing from the, uh, the remake in terms of the uptown area and exploring. And the way that they built up Nemesis. We need to play the quest to find Spanish accent Carlos, says Zion Zaku. It's like I said, at some point I'll be doing a full playthrough of this when I've made a, f a full recovery. Same with Dino Crisis 2, so I'll be uh, I'll be keeping it on the back burner for when I uh, I recover. And then I can make a uh, a full comparison. 
because the only one we've got on the channel at the moment is Jen's playthrough of RE3 Remake. And then obviously my like 50 to 100 attempts at RE2 speedrunning, which were pretty fun. Like I love RE2 Remake for speedrunning, but yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll go uh, rest my hands up again. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.